A group of Vermont advocates are speaking out after their recent arrest during a protest in Williston. The protest is calling for a shutdown of the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Facility on Harvest Lane. Local 22's Spencer Conlin has more on why the group doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. The people gonna rise like the water. Continuing to spread their message, a few dozen advocates gathered outside a Chittenden County District Court Tuesday morning in Burlington. It's where 20 of them could face charges for their role in disrupting operation at the Williston Ice facility last month. We did stop a shift change. We spent hours in front of the ice facility. The group is protesting the detainment and deportation of undocumented workers and family separation policies at the southern border. These are Vermonters, hardworking Vermonters. They do not get Social Security. They do not get any government assistance. They are only contributing to our tax base. Yes, you can get a new job. They're also encouraging ICE employees at the Williston facility to leave their jobs. We cannot get caught up in this idea that these uh, data processing jobs at the ICE facility are somehow neutral, are somehow good jobs for the state. They are not. The group says just last week, seven people were detained at a McDonald's in Hartford, Vermont. They are kidnapping people. They are detaining people. They are holding people in inhumane conditions. We cannot be part of this. Moving forward, the group is planning even more demonstrations and rallies. Their neighbors, you know, the folks who just want to work alongside them and make a living are the ones being detained. Let's stand up for them. Spencer Conlon, Local 22 News, Burlington. We reached out to Immigration and Customs Enforcement about those detainments in Hartford and they could neither confirm nor deny it happened due to the fact that we don't know their names.